Yesterday, I got the chance to hang with and fence with Olympic hopeful Iftaj Muhammad, and this actually happened. She's a New Jersey-born Muslim who has made headlines worldwide because she will be the first American Olympian to compete wearing a hijab. When I ran track or when I played tennis, where my teammates wear shorts or short sleeves, my parents would always have to adjust the uniform for me. And in each of those sports, I had a hard time, you know, fitting in because I wasn't in uniform with my teammates. It's crazy to think that a fencing uniform that worked with her beliefs started it all, even landing her a spot on Times 100 Most Influential People of 2016. I felt like it was a mistake. I was like, am I supposed to be here? Because everybody there it seemed like was a celebrity. And Chris Curtin tells us it's no mistake Team Visa picked Iptaj to join their squad. We've picked these athletes very carefully this year with an eye towards their story, not just their athleticism. Uh, each of them represents a unique story from a unique geography. Like swimmer Yusura Mardini, a refugee from Syria who will be one of the athletes testing this new awesome wearable tech that Visa wanted us to show you. Any of the 45 Team Visa athletes can walk into any venue with their Visa ring on, buy whatever they want, and then when it's time to check out, whoop, it's that simple, you're done. Now about that fencing lesson. This is like a general fencing stance. I can lunge oh, geez. and okay. hit my opponent. Oh! oh. Um, I'm gonna hang up my um, sword right now. I'm gonna give okay. that back to you and I'm gonna give you that. <laughs>